What's up guys, it's Caitlin V and welcome back to my channel. I did not anticipate on my nails matching uh, my outfit today, but now that they are, woo, into it. How fun, how fun is this? I am obsessed with purple lately. Like I've been sleeping on purple. I admit it. Recently in the mail, I got a package, a lovely, amazing package from Flesh Beauty. I have been dying to try these products. Ever since I came across them on Instagram, I was like, I need these in my life. Not only is their packaging so freaking adorable um, and aesthetically pleasing, but they actually have 40 shades of their foundation, which is so, so amazing. I love when brands are inclusive and we can all enjoy them. So this is the finished look of the Flesh Beauty products. And I just cannot wait to show you guys how these products perform. Plot twist, they're freaking incredible. Fun look for summer. Um, if you're looking for something that's really lightweight and easy to apply, um, especially if you're like, you know, you spent the day by the pool, by the beach, you go home, shower, get ready, and you wanna go to a nice dinner, but not kick on so much makeup and take forever. This is the perfect look and it's so glowy. <laughs> I just wanna glow and go, you know, glow and go. Should I be calling these makeup tutorials glow and go? Should that be a series? And as always, make sure you thumbs up this video if you like it and want more from me. And also make sure to subscribe if you are new here. Hello, welcome, I love you. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this look and let's get on into it. As you can see, my skin is <laughs> far from perfect today. It's that time of the month, ladies, and uh, my body decided to produce its first cystic zit at 25 years old, so. Thank you for welcoming me into the club. It's right on my chin, so it just like makes it protrude, like makes me look like I have a longer chin than I do. Maybe it's a look, I don't know. But honestly, I feel like that's kind of a good thing that my skin is not perfect today because I like to, you know, see that a product can actually cover and do its thing. So I think this will. I tried it yesterday and it looked pretty dang good. So I'm excited to play around with this brand. I came across Flesh on Instagram a couple weeks ago and uh, I just, I was sold. I was sold immediately by the adorable packaging. It's just so cute. She's just a little nugget and I just want to eat her. I looked more into it obviously and I was like blown away by their shade range. They have 40 different shades, which is so cool. They have like every kind of undertone that you could have like cool violet undertone, which makes me so happy that they're so inclusive. Like here's another one of their products, a flesh pot, which mm, I could not get my hands on and I'm so sad it was sold out, but I'm definitely on the list for when that comes back in stock. And that's supposed to be inclusive for every skin tone as well. Underneath my foundation, um, this is something I've been doing like all summer long. It's just so fun to make my skin look super glowy. And I've just been doing this even when I'm going to the beach, I'll just throw on like an all over bronzer, um, liquid or cream, whatever, and just makes my skin look so good and just ready for the sun. So I've got two bronzing products to try. This is Twitch. Um, she is a bronzing, all over bronzing stick. You can apply this under foundation. You can kind of mix it with your foundation. If you have a deeper skin tone, this would be super pretty as a highlighter. You can also use it as like a bronzer, probably. You can also probably just use this on your cheeks if you want just like a little bronzing glow after your foundation. You can like use this for whatever you want. But the one I'm gonna use today is the liquid version. This one's called Candle Glow. And these are just bronzing drops. So I'm going to just apply some on my fingertips and work. I'm done. Work that in my skin. This is accentuating my, my cyst exit, my cyst it. Oh my gosh, this hurts so badly. So yesterday I was opening my door to get my packages and uh, yeah, I, uh, I hit my head on the door frame as I was throwing packages in. I was like, I was just going too quick. I was just not paying attention and <gasps> really hurts. I have two foundations that I picked up. I didn't know which shade I wanted because I often self tan or get a spray tan. The lighter one I got is called Honey. And then I also got Creme Brulee. I'm gonna use Creme Brulee because I feel like this matches my self tan at the moment. Just kind of like to go over really not even a specific way. I just kind of draw my face cause it's fun. <laughs> Also, you can use these as concealers as well. So if you get a couple shades like I did, you can just, did I just paint my hair? I just painted my hair. Yikes, she really latches onto the hair. <laughs> I'm gonna bring this down my neck as well. But the great thing is you can also use these as concealers. So if you get two shades like I did and you have like your lighter shade for the winter months and then your warm uh, summer or spray tan shade, then you can just use a lighter shade if you want and just kind of run that over the areas that you want to look a little bit more highlighted. So just for sh I'm gonna 
do that. With cream products, I like to either blend with my hands just because the warmth of my hands tends to blend it really easily. Um, I'll also use a flat top kabuki brush from Sigma or the Artiste brush. This one is so nice and so fast, so I'm just gonna use this one today. And look how nice that blends. Oh, I love how this foundation blends. It's so easy and so quick, which I am all about lately. Like I just, I haven't worn a normal, normal foundation in so long, like probably this entire summer, just because I've just been on this cream product bandwagon lately. It's so easy to apply. I just have not had any desire to wear like a heavy, thick, foundation at all. It's also just so much quicker to apply a cream or my no makeup makeup paracone products, which I am doing a video on. I'm just waiting on a couple products um, from the line that I didn't realize they had. So I wanted to try those as well in the video. Don't want to forget my neck. That's it. Look how easy that is. That took like two seconds and my skin looks so good already. Like so evened out just from this little cream product. What? Oh, by the way, they call these their firm flesh sticks. <laughs> Which like, what? Like, I, I can't, I can't. The names of these products, you guys, are just, they're wild. They are wild. You can definitely see that glow coming through though. Oh, it looks so good. And I haven't even applied any concealer yet, so. By the way, these retail for $18 and that's how much product you get. It's not a lot, but as you can see it, like a little bit goes a really long way. So I'm curious to see how long this, these will last me. On to the concealer, if I can find her. Love the concept of this. I don't know if other brands like have something like this, but I feel like this is what I've been dreaming of my entire life and I'm so happy I found they have one. This is what their concealer looks like. One end is their correcting end, which is for underneath your eyes, obviously correcting that pigment and dark circles. And then the other side is their cover and it's a lighter, more yellow tone shade. And this is just for like when you have blemishes wherever else, like hello, <laughs> cyst, zit. And they have multiple shades of this as well. So good for every skin tone, which is great. So this is one of those twist up, which I found yesterday that this like spurts out <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Sounds disgusting, but uh, I just gotta watch it because she comes out to play. Boom, boom. So I'm gonna start with my under eye. Um, I still haven't figured out like how I wanna apply this. It's not super thick. It's actually really, as you can see, kind of like more watery. Honestly, that blended so easily right in the inner corner. I'm still seeing like a little bit of darkness coming through. So I'm just gonna apply another little layer. But if you're someone who has a struggle with like products getting too cakey or like drying quicker than you have time to blend and then it ends up looking really, really cakey and dry, um, then you'll really like this. Cause this I feel like takes a long time to actually sink in, absorb into your skin. I wouldn't go too crazy though with like patting in. I would definitely just use your finger, warm it up. Um, and then once it looks good, just Leave it alone, leave her alone. She doesn't wanna to talk to you, goodbye. Now I'm going to use the cover side. I'm scared, it's gonna like spurt everywhere. Will she ever go, I don't know. Okay, the cover side does not want to, oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope that caught on camera, holy shit. That took me like 30 seconds to, uh, for something to come out and she just, she really, that was, that was a whale blowhole right there. That was a blowhole. Some of it spat on my hand, so I guess I'm just gonna use some of that. The rest of it is on my floor and on my blankets, so that's fun. Someone likes attention. Um, this one is a little bit too dark for my, Skin. I think there was lighter ones. I was just like concerned at, you know, getting it too light and crazy, but I would definitely get a lighter one if I was using this to conceal on like a daily basis. I mean, it's like fine, but it's just a tiny bit lighter than my actual skin. I guess I'll apply a little bit of this onto my lids as like a primer. For this, I'm just going to try using a mini beauty sponge, which actually works really well. Oh, yes, loving that, yes. That blends so nice. That was so easy. I have some leftover on my hands, so I'm just going to bring it kind of underneath my eye a little bit. Lock that baby in. 
Oh, I feel like my skin looks so glowy. I love this so much. And it doesn't feel like I'm wearing literally anything. I don't remember if they have any brow products, but I don't have any to try from them. So I'm just going to use my Aveda Brow Define Pencil which I love when I want to create just something like really natural and feathery. Just gonna brush up. Then I'm going to set that with my Essence Brow Gel, which I tried in a recent drugstore video and I am just so in love with this. It's like literally $2 for a brow gel that's tinted and amazing. Ugh, this is like one of my favorite finds of the year for sure. Oh my gosh, so I get notifications for the LA area, like any like police stuff that's going on in the area. And there is around me, you guys, there is a driver wearing a clown mask fleeing the police. It's just very interesting to see like what's going on in the LA area because now after getting this app, I, I realize just how bizarre humans can be, um, especially around me. I am going to quickly set that because I feel like that concealer was so liquidy that I need to set that with a powder. So I'm just gonna use my Cover Effects powder. Just kind of lightly pat where I applied that concealer. And on my chin. Hashtag sis it. Do you guys get cyst zits? Um, if you do, let me know how you get rid of them quickly. I don't have any of their contour or bronzing powders or contour sticks or anything. So um, instead, I'm just gonna use my Nudie's um, Bondi Bay stick because it's a pretty similar product. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video again, I will link it down below. But these are also like a stick. It's also a stick based product based brand stick. Looks like a wave. I'm trying to go swimming. I'm gonna use my stipple brush to blend that in. God, I can't get over that clown thing. I hate clowns so much. They're so creepy. Oh, I have so many questions. I'm not sure if I actually want answers to because I'm terrified. I got this at Ulta for like, in like a pack of four for literally next to nothing. So love a good beauty blender dupe. Onto the cheeks, I have two products um, that I picked up. This one is called Swollen, which oof, I love this so much. This is a cream product and it has a little fingerprint on it, which is so fun, but you can actually use this um, on your cheeks or on your lips. And that's just like the tiniest dot because when it comes to blush, I am all about the less is more mentality. It scares me to put too much blush on. It kind of scares me to put blush on in general. But how cute is that? That would look so pretty on your lips as well just for that like quick little lip stain. Boom, boom, touch up your cheeks, looking amazing. Um, and then I also got their powder blush and this is in the shade Glaze. This one is obviously lighter and more brownie toned than uh, the Swollen is. Both are beautiful. I, I don't know which one I wanna try. I'm gonna try actually the powder one because I think I used Swollen yesterday, so I just kinda wanna switch things up and uh, try the powder one today. Cause you know, we're all about keeping things, keeping it saucy here. Oh, mm, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my, okay, wait. Okay, whenever this happens, don't panic. Okay, don't, you don't need to panic. Whenever this happens, I just take a big fluffy brush and move her around until she looks decent. Much better. I like that, that's really pretty. Definitely a little bit goes a long way. These are very pigmented. Same with this one. I used this yesterday and I did just like the tiniest uh, little dab, dabaroni. For the highlighter, I actually have a powder highlight. I know, crazy, I've been using so many liquid highlighters lately, but decided I should probably switch things up. Like I said, if you have a deeper skin tone, this would be so, so pretty on you, but this is gonna be way too dark on me. It would just be like a streak of gold, bronzy gold, and that would look very, very strange. But for the highlighter, I have this highlighting powder in the shade Jump. I'm gonna go in with my highlighter brush. Since this one's definitely more like yellow toned than a lot of the highlighters I've been using recently, but we like it. Oh, look at how pigmented that is. Wow. Wowza. That is fun. Ooh. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. And what do you call this part of your nose? Cause it's not like the bridge. It's just kind of like, it's 
right here, you know? Give myself a little glitter mustache and we're in business. Apply that highlighter in the inner corners of my eyeballs just to brighten that up. Remember when this was such a thing on YouTube in like 2010, just to brighten that inner corner? I remember this was just a mind blowing technique when I first started watching YouTube videos. I was like, oh my gosh, that's a thing. For the eyeshadows, I picked up this palette. I am just obsessed with this packaging. Again, I am just such a sucker for packaging. If you have pretty aesthetically pleasing packaging, I will probably buy it. I just love how the logo just kind of like pops up very subtly when you move it around. Very, very cute. I'm not exactly sure what shade, if they have more than one palette, but I will link it down below, obviously. Um, but these are the nine colors that you get in this palette, which I think is a pretty good shade range. It's definitely more on like the, the pinky, plummy, cooler tones um, than I normally do. Very wearable, except for this pop of pink, which is kind of fun and saucy if you're ever, you know, feeling like that. Don't know when I would, but you know. I love when palettes have a matte black in there. I feel like that's just so useful. I always, always gravitate towards a matte black. I'm gonna keep this look very simple. Um, I'm just going to use this matte brown shade right here and take a big grease brush. Um, and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. So easy. Start that in the center of my lid and then when I'm kind of working my way out, I can, I'll have less product on the brush and then it's just like an easy seamless transition. And I'm putting like a lot of product actually in the inside of my eye too, which normally I tend to stay clear of unless I'm putting like a light shade. But for this particular look, I really love the smokiness and just all over, boom, done and go. I have the same brush pretty much. It's just a little bit more put together. It's not the brush, the bristles aren't spread out too much. And I'm just gonna take that same exact shade and run her messily underneath my lower lash line. You can obviously skip this if this is like a little too saucy for you. But when I'm just doing like one shade, I feel like it looks so pretty just to put it underneath your lower lash line and I feel like this always makes your eyes pop. And for eyeliner, I'm gonna use this black powder and this little flat shader brush. Goodbye, little palette brush, did not miss you. Not gonna use you. And I'm just gonna pat this really lightly on my lash line. Actually, the brush that comes with this is actually pretty precise when it comes to doing this like powdered liner, so. You win, palette, you win. I'm sorry for dropping you on the floor. I'm going to then take that flat shader brush that I used underneath, and I'm just going to kind of take a tiny bit of black and rub that in a little bit. I just curled my lashes and put on some CoverGirl Lash Blast, the OG, of course. Just did that off camera because it's a lot quicker, a lot easier than trying to look through the viewfinder and like poking my eyeball out. It's really fun. Finish off the lips. I'm gonna first, this is kind of weird, but when I'm using a product that's not like a lip stick, like something really precise, I like to line my lips with um, just something like a bronzing stick like this. It's a little bit rounded because I was doing this earlier, but I kind of use this like a lip liner and just do it very, very softly just to kind of outline my lips. It just makes it look really natural and I like to do this because my lips are really light. It just kind of helps add a little bit more shape. You can obviously use a lip liner, but sometimes I feel like it's a little too harsh when I'm using a product that's not <laughs> very pigmented. Um, and then it just looks really like 90s having that super outlined lip look. And then for the lips to finish this off, I have two of their lip tints or something. I think that's what they're called, but you guys, these, products oh my god their names are so wild this one is called lick okay and uh this one is called moist <laughs> literally moist the worst name and the whole the worst word on the planet moist uh you should go read through all of their names though they are just pure entertainment. Love, 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 love both of these colors. They're so pretty. This one looks a little bit brighter on the monitor for some reason. It's really not that bright. That's a swipe of moist and this is lick. They are sheer, um, which is fun. And if you just want like a really lightweight, quick little tinted balm look, then you can just do one 
swipe of this, otherwise you can build it up and have it be a little bit more pigmented, but I'm gonna use Lick. Also, I wonder why they chose to do this lip shape. Like, I'm very curious as to why it's like rounded and normal and then there's just one side that's flat. Kinda interesting, never seen that before. Love how small this is though. It's very like easy to apply. I hate when it's too big of an applicator and it's just, it gets everywhere. Oh. So that's what one quick swipe looks like. I think that's so pretty. Oh, I love this so much. And then you can kind of just build her up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Oh, so pretty. Ooh, 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 I forgot I had a lip gloss that I wanted to try. How pretty is this packaging? This is probably my favorite lip gloss packaging of any product that I own. I just love how it's so chunky. It's just like, mm, bitch, I'm here. Hot sauce lip gloss. Love the name of that, so cute. I love hot sauce, so extra obsessed. So pretty, this is in the shade 315. Again, it's just a very sheer kind of brown toned lip gloss. I just think this is the perfect nude. Oh my gosh. I have been looking for a perfect nude and I feel like I found her. I wouldn't normally apply this over it because I feel like it has just a really pretty nice sheen gloss already to it, but I'm just doing this for, for shit and gigs. This is so pretty. I love this. I love this. I love this. Mm, mm, mm. Whew, hands down, I'm going to be picking up more shades of their lip gloss and their little lip tints because these are so bomb. The best part is they are not sticky whatsoever. Ooh, I love when my nails match my outfit. Here is a quick little close up of the look, all using Flesh Beauty products pretty much with the exception of a couple different ones that I didn't have, but oh, I feel like my skin looks so good and like natural. You know what I mean? Like it's nothing too crazy. It's not like you look at me and be like, whoa, she's got a lot of makeup on. And obviously I use like quite a few products on my face. It's not like I use one product and I woke up like this, but genuinely I feel like this looks so good. I'm normally not a gloss person. This hot sauce gloss is converting me into a gloss person and I need every single shade. Also obsessed with these lip tints, holy crap. So pretty. And because we didn't use any like liner or anything, like heavy liquid liner, this was so quick to do. And you could honestly just like do this really, really quickly if you're on the go. So I yeah, that's it for my Flesh Beauty uh, tutorial. I hope you guys liked this. I love this brand. Like I cannot believe I haven't heard of it sooner. I need to look more into them. When did you come out? And now I'm just wondering where they've been all my life. I really wanna try this product. I'm gonna just play around with this probably tomorrow. Um, Keep you updated. You may see her in an upcoming tutorial. You're probably gonna see quite a few of these products in upcoming tutorials when I don't do like one brand on the face. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. How fun is this for summer? I've been doing so many summer looks because hello, it's summer. Have you guys tried Flesh Beauty? I'm very curious what your favorite products are. I need to get my hands on the Flesh Pot. Oh my gosh, it looks so amazing. Every single product I use and the exact shade that I used is going to be down in the description box below for your convenience. Let me know what products you are most excited to try if you're going to uh, test out some of these products for yourself. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Mwah!